In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute pop-up card using the pop-up guide dies. For this card, paper piercing tool, mat, and guide. I'm going to use two inks. I'm using a darker ink, doesn't really matter what color it is. I'm using Pacific Point here, just a non-permanent ink, and then a permanent ink. This is black stays on. We use a stamp on a jig, rhinestones, and a black marker. Two stamp sets, Million and One and Sassy Salutations. You'll need three framelit sets. This is the deco labels, new circles, and the dress framelits. For ribbon, I'm using the new strawberry slush ribbon. It's very pretty, stretchy too. And then for paper, I'm using a piece of designer paper. This is about four by three, and this is from the new in color designer pack. So look at all those yummy patterns and colors that are in there. Then I'm taking a piece of strawberry slush. And this is, this is the original 8.5 by 11 piece, and I've just cut it in half, so that measures 4 and a quarter by 11, that's what you need for the base. And also a piece of Whisper White, the same size. You'll need two pieces of black, this is about 4 by 3, one for the front label and one for the frame on the inside. And then a piece of Whisper White that's going to cut the label in the front here. So I've already cut out all the little framelit pieces and I've got another video on how to use the magnetic platform that will show you how to cut all those out. But I just wanted to show you this last one that's cut out except for this part. It always sticks so I just use a paper poker and just sort of give it a little extra help. So that's just a little tip I wanted to show you. And then uh, that cuts that, that frame right out. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to stamp this saying on the inside of the card just because I wanted to give it a second to dry. And when you're stamping something like this directly on here and after I've done all the work on the card, I don't want to mess this up. So I'm actually going to use a stamp on my jig. I'm not usually very fussy when I'm stamping sayings, but this is one time I want to be a little fussy. So what you want to do with the jig is you want to lay it here and throw the imaging sheet that comes with it right into the corner of the T of the jig. And then you're going to ink up a stamp with a non-permanent ink, and this is just so that you can wipe off the imaging sheet later. So this one says fabulous is what you are, and I'm making it up with a specific point. Again, making sure that imaging sheet is tight into the corner, and then dropping that stamp right into the corner of the T and stamping on the imaging sheet with that. Okay, so now I'm going to clean my stamp. Okay, next what you do is you take your imaging sheet and you lay it on your piece where you want the saying to appear. So I want it there and I want it centered in between the two sides. And then I take my T in exactly the same way I did it before. So I went in the bottom left and put the T right on the corner of that imaging sheet. Okay, I'm now going to ink up the stamp. This is using black stays on. I love this new stamp, it's so pretty. Okay, again, making sure those two things are tight. I'm holding that jig down, not letting it move. It's actually holding the paper in place as well. Moving the jig sheet out of the way, sliding the stamp into the corner, pressing down firmly. Then I can remove it, and you can see it is absolutely perfectly positioned. So that's the stamp on the jig. So this imaging sheet, and what I've used is on here is water-based ink, so you can just use a baby wipe and just wipe that away. And then it's ready for the next use. Next trick I'm going to show you is paper piercing. I've done a little bit of that on the front of this card, just to add a little bit of a decorative element. I'm using here a paper piercing guide, and I'm going to uh, line up the holes on here. So you can see that I'm using the holes on the outside as kind of a guide, and they're all equal distance around the circle. I'm actually going to go in one level, and you just take your paper poker, and this is on a mat, you hold everything firmly, don't let it slip, and you just go around and poke holes. It's a nice way to give a bit more interest to the piece. And I have cut this circle out with the circle framelit dies and the magnetic platform, which I show on another video, so be sure to check that out. There we go. And then you get this really cool effect with the circles all over the outside. So I won't attach these two pieces together, but you can see I've added a piece of ribbon on the outside, and I need to tuck that in behind. So what I'm going to do is add some tape just on the inside here of the card. I know this is the top because of the curved edges. And I want the ribbon to look like this. I'm just going to grab it like that and tuck it onto that tape. It's a bit stretchy, so I'm pulling on it. 
I'll just make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to trim off that excess. And now that's going to be hidden behind my card. So I can go ahead and attach tape. So I'm going to start with the top half. Again, avoiding the uh, center cut out here. And then I'm going to match those two tops up. I find it's easier if you kind of start at the top and match up those top bits. Smooth down hard over the top of the ribbon. And then I'm going to fold up that piece and take tape on the bottom half. And line it up. Um, and I found it's, it's best if you put a bit of extra tape on either side of the slit on the bottom so it's really firmly in place, especially since now you've got to go through two layers here to, to tuck that in. There we go. I'm just going to pop that back up again. And then I'm going to give the whole card a close. So I'm going to give the whole card a close. Just make sure it's working right for that. And I'm going to even tuck those in. Just make sure those are working. Okay, and let's go ahead and finish decorating this. So I've cut a piece of designer paper. This is strawberry slash designer paper. And I take my ribbon and I'm going to build a really pretty skirt here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add tape to the back of this piece, quite a bit, and I'm going to start wrapping. Just like that. And I, I am going to cut it because I just don't want to waste any of that ribbon. There's the first layer, and then I'm going to do another one. I'm just going to lay that right over top up there. Again, I'm pulling the ribbon a little bit as I go just because it's got that nice stretch to it so it's nice and tight. And I'm just going to keep building this. Okay, so I've got all these ruffles here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to add one more seventh one. And this one, I'm going to put the band of the ribbon sort of so it's sitting on, it looks like a waistband. And cut that off. I'm going to attach it now to my dress form. I'm going to put a bunch of snail down on the bottom here, but then I'm also going to just reinforce it with some glue dots just because it's all three dimensional here, and I want to be sure that it's going to stick. Okay, so I'm going to stick that right onto the dress. Okay, and now I'm going to stick this onto her. I'm just going to put a little bit of extra tape here on the bottom. So the way this is built, the popping cuts, is the popping cuts is just slightly bigger than the dress form, so you get a nice little shut up effect. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now let's finish the front of the card. So here's a cool trick. I'm going to take a Sharpie marker and my rhinestones, and I'm just going to color the rhinestones and turn them from clear to black. I'm going to do that in there and just give them a few minutes to dry. And I'm going to assemble these bits here. I love how that circle fits perfectly in the frame. And I'm just going to go in the front of my card with dimensionals. When I'm using dimensionals over top of an image like that, I'm going to make sure that I put some on either side of the ribbon so it sticks to the paper. Make sure it's centered on the card. And then I'm going to grab my paper poker and grab those beautiful black rhinestones. Start with one in the center. One on either side. So pretty. And then the final step is I'm going to add a little clay flower 
These are some clay flowers I've made. I'm going to do another video. That's one of my other favorite products I'm going to show. I'm going to stick that on the dress. And I find the best way to stick that, that clay on there is to use this multi-purpose glue. It's a white liquid glue. And you're just going to stick that little clay flower right on there. And when it dries, it's all nice and light. Anyways, I'll have a whole other video. It's one of my other favorite products. So isn't that an adorable card? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the pop and cuts card. Check back to sampletend.com often for other tips and tricks.